Hello and welcome to Rando Rob. Each week on Rando Rob, I'll be showing and discussing one item from my large collection of collections. New shows appear every Monday and throughout the week, I'll be adding older episodes of Rando Rob that were previously only available to my Patreon subscribers. You can watch episodes of Rando Rob on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash Rob O'Hara. Just look for the Rando Rob playlist. Audio versions of the show are available on my website at podcast.robohara.com or through iTunes. Just search for Rando Rob. Thanks for watching or listening, and I hope you enjoy this vintage episode of Rando Rob. This week, I was going through some more Star Wars things. I really got to finish this Star Wars project behind me of getting stuff up on the shelves. I was going through one of my tubs. I just opened a rando tub and inside that tub laying gently on top of some other things were five items. Uh, these are, I will say valuable items. I wouldn't say that I'm hugely sentimental about them, but they are worth money. I'm sort of sentimental about them. Uh, there are items that I, Star Wars items that I own that are worth less that are more important to me. I suppose that might be one way to put it. Anyway, without beating around the bush, uh, I have a few Star Wars action figures mint on the card that have been autographed by the people who played them in the films. I used to have them uh, just hanging on the wall, not really in protective cases or anything. It's not like they're not worth a million dollars. They're worth a few dollars. Uh, and so as I opened the tub, I saw th these at the top of the tub. So I thought I would pull these out and this could be a fun item to share. Uh, the first one here is Chewbacca. <clears throat> this is from the uh, Power of the Force line or no, uh, Shadows of the Empire line. Uh, and you can see it says Chewbacca down here. This was uh, kind of an offshoot uh, comic book slash that they turned into a video game, Shadows of the Empire. So that's why Chewbacca is wearing this uh, uh, outfit that most people are not familiar with. And if you see on the top there, it says, uh, let's see what all it says. It says something. Something yours? <laughs> no, it says Peter Mayhew. <laughs> Obviously, Peter Mayhew. Uh, Chewbacca. Peter Mayhew is the gentleman who played Chewbacca in uh, at least the first six movies and uh, passed away. So Peter Mayhew is no longer with us. Uh, all of these action figures went up in value when the actors passed away. Um, but I didn't really collect them to... Uh, flip them for money. All of these I got signed at conventions, sci-fi conventions, uh, like I never went to an official comic con, but shows that were like comic con. Uh, the second one here that we'll pull out is somebody else that you'll probably recognize. And it is Darth Vader. And uh, Darth Vader here. These are all five of these are the uh, Power of the Force line of figures that came out in the mid 90s. Uh, and uh, as you can see, it says right here the way that David Prowse always signed his things, which says David Prowse is Darth Vader. Now, for those who don't know, um, David Prowse fall, fell out. Uh, with George Lucas and the reasoning was is that um, David Prowse gave out spoilers in interviews that talked about the fate of Darth Vader uh, around uh, Empire Strikes Back about Darth Vader being Luke's father and things like that. Now, um, I could be wrong. I may be misremembering this, but uh, I think at the time David Prowse didn't actually know that to be a fact. And there's a very famous thing uh, in regards to Empire Strikes Back in which on the set, uh, David Prowse actually said, no, Obi-Wan is your father. Uh, and, um, and then they dubbed in the lines because, of course, James Earl Jones is the person who did all of Darth Vader's actually speaking lines, which... 
is another trivia fact that David Prowse says he did not know that Darth Vader's lines were going to be overdubbed until he went to the premiere of Star Wars and was in the theater and realized that it was not his voice. Um, that seems hard to believe because uh, a guy in a mask, unless they had a microphone inside that mask, which I don't think they did, um, he would have had to have known that those lines were going to have to be overdubbed. So the fact that he didn't overdub all those lines should have been a clue that uh, they were not going to use his voice. But anyway, uh, as the ledger goes, he gave out some spoilers in interviews and he had a falling out. And after that, David Prowse was no longer Darth Vader. And so uh, when he would sign things, he would say David Prowse is Darth Vader. And that's why he signs things. Signed, past tense, things that way. David Prowse passed away uh, a couple of years ago. Um, you may see a running uh, theme in these in which... All of these figures, all five signed or autographed action figures that I owned are of characters who wore helmets. And the reason why is because uh, actors that show their face on screen can charge a lot more money for their autographs. And so to get Mark Hamill's autograph or Harrison Ford's autograph, first of all, they don't go to these conventions and sign things like this. Um, but if they did, their autographs would be several hundred dollars. And I think I paid between 20, maybe $20 for each of these autographs at the time, which I, I had them done in purpose or in uh, person. We'll go through these pretty quick. Number three, this is Jeremy Bullock, the original Boba Fett. Uh, Jeremy Bullock played Boba Fett in The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. His voice was also uh, overdubbed, I believe, the first time. And then it was overdubbed um, by the guy that plays uh, Boba Fett now. Whenever they did the special editions for continuity, they went back and, and overdubbed all his lines. So, uh, But he wore a helmet, and uh, because you don't know his face, then uh, uh, he can't charge that much for autographs, which means I can afford it. Uh, number four right here is the... One of the most popular droids of the Star Wars series is Kenny Baker's R2-D2. Uh, I on this one, on the back, I actually stuck the ticket of the convention uh, that I went to and where I got uh, this autograph. It was the Sci-Fi Expo in Oklahoma City. Um, but uh, Kenny Baker, also no longer with us. I believe all... F uh, Jeremy Bullock, I can't remember. I think he passed away as well. So I think all these people have passed away. Kenny Baker, R2-D2, um, no longer with us, but R2-D2 will always be with us. And finally, the only autograph, I believe, of a person who is still living <laughs> that I have in my collection uh, is Anthony Daniels as C-3PO. Anthony Daniels is still alive. I have seen him in person. He does uh, has done the uh, Symphony of Star Wars, which I saw, which was fantastic. Um and uh, here we have a signed Anthony Daniels Star Wars card. So I will have to find a special place to put all these up on the wall. Uh, I hate to just hang them unprotected. But uh, again, you know, it was fun to meet those people and get the autographs. But it is certainly not the most important to me items from the Star Wars collection. So anyway, I uh, just thought I would share those as I pulled something in. That's something that not everybody has, so I thought you might enjoy those rando Rob items this week, Frack. So thanks, everybody, for uh, sticking around. Hope you enjoyed these items on this episode of Rando Rob, and I look forward to uh, this week's Sprite Castle. And keep an eye on the Patreon, because if things work out, I may try to schedule um, maybe a weekend chat coming up in the near future that would be exclusive uh to you all here on patreon so i will uh, see everybody soon thanks for coming by